So Prof, we would like to welcome you to day two of the Innovation Visioning. You, why are you looking at us? Welcome you to day two of the Innovation Visioning Workshop and would like to kindly request that you share with us insights about your experiences of yesterday's sessions and also go ahead to share with us how you think yesterday's sessions will, will fit into Resilient Africa Network's goal achievement. Okay, thank you, Harriet, and the, I'd like to appreciate the, the whole training. Specifically, I think this training was needed yesterday at the beginning of the project to real fit in what we think that we're going to offer to the communities. Mm -hmm. We have promised ourselves that we will go to the communities with our students and faculty. And when we go there, we we'll look at what hurts them. We will identify their problems with them. We'll come back and go for prototype, prototyping and going back to share our findings. What I noticed and what I learned, which is very important to me and I'm sure important to the other participants, is that you can prototype anything. Everything that is a problem, a service, a project, anything can be prototyped. I also realized that from the data that we have collected from the, the communities, Certainly we have a lot that we can come up with, with our students and faculty, and a lot more can be done. Initially we thought we would offer solutions, the innovations, but I now have a complete changed mind that these solutions are actually already in the communities. All we need is to come up with how do they look at the solutions. We also realize that there are lots of resources among the communities, given some of the, of, the, of the pilots that we did as exercise. We can turn their variable resources into a solution for the communities. I also must say that it was a lightning exercise from Bunny and his team, that they bring reality as simple as possible. And all I wish is that when we go to these communities, we will do exactly that. That everybody gets involved from the beginning up to the end. I also, I also want to say that the people who attended these sessions hopefully through today and tomorrow, will go completely changed as trainers so that the exercise can be expanded into our universities to include students and faculty. And lastly, the communities have to be brought on board as early as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Vazeo. And enjoy your day. We hope you enjoyed our sessions today. And we hope to move Resilient Africa to the greater heights. I will. I promise myself too. Because I think we set out ourselves in run to help the communities. And the only way to help them is to understand what they are. And that's the reason why I'm here full time. To learn and know what I'm doing with the communities not to have a team to go to the communities, but have the team with me to go to every part of the communities. Whether the Horn of Africa, whether West Africa or South Africa or East Africa, East Africa I am available to participate. Thank you. Thank you very much.